Trepang is a food ingredient in high demand in Asian countries such as China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. The demand is so high in China that criminal gangs in Mexico, Sri Lanka, Africa, and Papua New Guinea created the crime wave, in some cases becoming worse than the drug trade. Trepang is made from the sea cucumber, a marine animal that eats nutrients in the sea floor. It is also known as the earthworm of the sea, and the demand for this valuable resource seems to have no limit. The sea cucumber aquaculture industry of mainland China produces up to 100,000 tons annually but still cannot meet demand. Other top importing countries are Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea, and Singapore, with the total value of global importation reaching $365 million. This resource is severely overharvested in many countries, including the Philippines. The species commonly exported by the Philippines is called sandfish. In 2018, dried sandfish was priced in Hong Kong at more than 99,000 pesos per kilo due to their size. Premium trepang can be produced from live animals, weighing more than 600 grams each. When processed and dried properly, premium product is hard, free of decay and foreign material, and properly shaped. Price for premium trepang at the fisher level can reach 5,000 pesos per kilo. However, small-scale processing uses methods that are labor-intensive, unhygienic, and vulnerable to poor weather conditions. Poor quality trepang sells at one-half to one-fourth of the price of premium product. To help revive the Philippine sea cucumber industry, I believe that better management of this resource can help. First, this will provide a sufficient and sustainable supply of sea cucumber. Second, survey data in Hong Kong and China shows that the bigger the trepang, the higher the price. Traders can offer incentives to fishers to allow animals to grow to the proper size. Finally, allowing sea cucumbers to grow to the proper market size also gives them enough time to breed. Resource management leads to a positive cycle of sustainable supply leading to sandfish with bigger sizes and better income for fishers, no overharvesting, and more supply available. The second approach is to develop better processing and drying methods that are appropriate to small fishers. With funding from DOST and Picard, we were able to develop prototype equipment that could produce good quality trepang. We developed a multi-vat boiler, mechanical cleaner, and hybrid dryer to reduce processing, improve uh, food hygiene and quality, and eliminate the traditional process of smoking, which leaves carcinogenic residues. The ratio of final product to the raw material is called product recovery. We found that larger animals give a higher product recovery, aside from commanding better selling prices when processed. For example, 100 animals weighing 400 grams each can be sold for about 3,200 pesos. If allowed to grow to a live weight of 600 grams, this can be sold for 20,000 or more. The photo on the right shows the quality of trepang, produced from undersized sandfish using traditional processing methods. The photo on the left shows a comparison of trepang sold in Hong Kong and the sample used using our processing line. The processing line allowed fishers to process and dry sandfish, regardless of weather conditions, significantly reduced the effort required to clean the product and produce the clean and dry product. Our team in UP Los Baños are now looking to partner with fishers associations who can provide a sustainable source of raw material and are willing to pilot test the processing line, as well as buyers of trepang who can provide feedback on the quality of product produced, local government unit who will support the collaboration, uphold preservation and proper management of marine resources, R&D institutions uh, for technical support, and extension agencies to provide training of fishers on resource management. With these partners, we hope to revive this treasure that is literally just lying in the sand waiting for people to properly appreciate the potential of this precious resource.